Hey guys, so I thought I would show you this recipe which is a modified recipe from um, this woman who does the show Hot Thai Kitchen. I'm actually going to link her video if I remember. I'm going to try to, but it's called um, Ginger Soy Chicken. So I modified it for the ingredients I had at home and I think it's a little bit simpler because you can have these on hand almost all the time. So what I have is one fairly large chicken breast. I cut it into small pieces, probably like half inch chunks and it's going to be in here because it's going to marinate in the fridge for a little while. I have a tablespoon of dark soy sauce, a tablespoon of light soy sauce and I, I, I would say you need them both because they actually provide slightly different tastes. A teaspoon of white pepper. If you like it hotter you can add uh, more. I just have it at this just in case. I can always add more later. A teaspoon of sugar. Um, I use white sugar. I have palm sugar, but it's really hard to break up, so I just use white. Um, let's see. A tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. I just thought it was easier to have that. If not, what you could do is um, grate half a tablespoon of ginger, half a tablespoon of garlic, and two tablespoons of cilantro leaves. These are dried cilantro leaves, so that's also important to note. And I'm really Happy I was able to find those. I found those in one of my supermarkets. And so what we're going to do now is just mix this up. And you might have to do a bit of work because like I said, the cilantro leaves are dry, but they'll absorb the soy. And the, one of the reasons I used two different kinds of soy was because the, um, well, it's ginger soy chicken. <laughs> um, also why I use a lot of ginger because if you freshly grate ginger, I think it's a little bit less. But also there's garlic too. So there's the garlic and the ginger and the sugar. So yeah, the cilantro will rehydrate a little bit using both the moisture from the chicken and the two tablespoons of the different soy sauces we used. But the important thing is really to get this mixed up well because you want to be able to break up the uh, the soy, I mean the ginger garlic paste. So just mix this really, really well. If you wanted to use another bowl, you could just mix everything besides the cilantro leaves and the chicken so that I could get, um, so I can kind of dissolve or disseminate a little bit better and then mix it with the chicken. To me, it was, it's just easier to just put it all in one bowl. So here we go. You can even chop this chicken a little bit smaller if you want to disperse out your servings. I'm actually going to have this with some noodles I've already made the previous day. everything is good so now what we're gonna do is put a lid on this and put it in the fridge for about 20 30 minutes and while that's happening preheat your oven to 350 and I know it's summertime so it's gonna be kind of hard but yeah preheat your oven to 350 because you'll need to put this in the oven so I'll come back and I'll see you when this is ready to go into the oven so we're back and now I have a piece of foil out um, and I have this pan here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, as you can see, the, it's not as liquidy as it was before. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I'm just going to pour this out, this, um, this mixture out onto my foil. And I use the foil because it allows it to kind of cook and steam really well and it doesn't really have to get to room temperature so you don't have to worry about oh get the meat to room temperature and then do all this extra stuff with it. So I'm going to fold it up. What I did was I kind of made these pre-folds so I knew exactly how I wanted my chicken to fold up in its packet. So yeah. And also it's less likely to dry out because it's going to kind of steam. And I'm just going to put it in this pan. So that'll be easier to put in and take out of the oven. And so I'm actually going to put it in for mm, probably 35, 40 minutes. And I can kind of put it in for that long amount of time. One, because it's cold. But two, because it's going to steam and not really roast so it won't dry out. So we'll be back when this is done. And I actually might wind up cutting it up a little bit more later. But I'll tell you the exact time I did this for once I take it out. I'm going to take it out at 35, look at it, maybe put it back in for five more minutes. But if it's good... I'll take it out and then I'll probably chop it up a little bit more. So I'll see you in 35, 40 minutes. 
Okay, we're back, and some of the juice, as you can see, has spilled into the pan, but that's fine because I, I, it took about, yeah, it took about 40 minutes. Um, so, oh, here it is. But I'm not worried because I'm going to chop this up anyway. You can see all the steam coming from it. But yeah, I left it in for 40 minutes. One, like I said, it's gonna steam, so I'm not too concerned about. Um, one second, let me get a spatula. I'm, I wasn't too concerned about it drying out. You know, the chicken makes its own liquid, breaks apart fairly easily. I'm gonna let this cool down just slightly. It's on a trivet. Don't put something straight from the oven onto your countertop. It might melt it. But yeah, all of these pieces are just perfect. They shrink a little bit, but I do want it to be a little bit smaller. Um, like I said, I can actually, since this is a meal for what, two? I can make it into a meal for four if I just dice this up a little bit more um, with rice or with noodles. I'm putting my noodles. I'll save some, make some rice later in the week and put it with that. But yeah, it smells really good. And then once it cools down... I'm going to chop it up, and then I'm going to taste it, and then we'll see how good it is. Hey guys, so it's all chopped up. It might still show like a little bit of warmth coming off of it. The inside was still a little warm, um, and it's really good. It actually reminds me, if any of you are from New York, like the halal cart chicken. Obviously it won't taste like that because none of the ingredients are the same, but let me try some right now so you can see how it is. Ooh, this is really good. What I especially like, because I'm not a fan of cilantro, is that it doesn't overpower it. Um, and neither does the ginger or the garlic or the soy sauce. None of it is trying to like overpower any of it, but they both work really well together. And I also think the addition of the sugar helps really to balance out the saltiness of both the soy sauces. So I really enjoyed this. I think if you cut this up, you can actually, if you've ever seen um, those like lettuce videos where they put like ground chicken that they do or ground beef with lettuce cups, that'd be really good if you didn't want to use bread or any kind of gluten or like noodles or rice. I'm going to have some of this with rice. I'm going to have some of this with the pasta I have waiting for me in the fridge. But this was amazing. Really rewarding. It didn't take a lot of time. I mean, while it marinates, you could be doing anything else, preheating the up, you know, you can marinate the day before and it'll probably be completely brown throughout and I'm also really glad I chopped it up um, you can chop like I said you can chop it up before a little bit more like if you wanted quarter inch pieces chopping it up after is just a lot quicker like it's just a lot quicker to dice through it while it's fully cooked because of the texture but yeah I'm I really hope you guys tried this I really enjoyed this um, I enjoyed making it it was super easy I enjoyed eating it I will enjoy eating all of this by myself um, and yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for more recipe and tip videos.